Well, here we are again. Faithful uh, cameraman, brother-in-law, Charles Ash. Back here, turn it around on yourself there, buddy. Say hi, Chuck. Hello, everybody. Today is April 3rd, 2010. It's the day before Easter. We've got a house full of relatives. We have, uh, we have the in-laws. We have, of course, Chuck and his wife, uh, Sarah, who is Susan's sister. Their kids, Maya and Ethan, and then Susan and Sarah's parents, John and Sue Ellen Mars. We're enjoying a nice weekend together. And it is customary, after a nice uh, uh, dinner from the night before, we will take the ingredients from said dinner and fold them into a specialty omelet. You're familiar, of course, with the Liz omelet. is what we did last year right around this time. And now we have the steaklet. Last night we had some, uh, some delicious uh, New York strips we purchased, actually at Costco. And um, we've got some leftovers. Uh, they were delicious uh, last night, and the likelihood of them delivering uh, culinary feast for breakfast is high. So here we've got three eggs. We've got, we've got a good hot pan here for a three egg steak omelet. What we're going to put in there uh, is some pre-sauteed onions and, uh, and peppers. We also, of course, have the juicy New York strip sliced and, and cut, as you can see. We're going to fold in a little of this, uh, this Girl Mates. It's a, it's a great product from McCormick, Montreal State. It's great, uh, great pepper. Give a little kick to the omelet here this morning. We also are going to fold in just a little A1, as well as some mild cheddar from Giant Eagle. We, we're going to put some blue cheese into the, uh, into the steak this morning, but that was more than than Chuck really wanted to deal with today. So we've got a nice, nice hot pan, as you recall, from last year. We like to get a uh, pretty high level of heat here to get this thing going. You just kind of get it nice and coagulated on the top. Right around now, I think, would be a, a, a good time to, to put Chuck's toast in. It's staged here and, and ready to to get uh, pressed down. Here is some of the shrapnel from last night. The house wine and the seven deadly zins. Probably the reason why my head feels the way it does. That and a few beers. Well, here we go. Check it out. We've got it to where it's not so gooey on the top. And I think an important part of making an omelet is that flip, the flip. Gotta, gotta get under it and flip it over to get that underbelly cooked. A lot of people put the stuff in, in the, on the gooey top, and I just don't agree with that. Seems I have to point out, Vince, that was a fantastic flip of that omelet. Chuck, thank you so much. You're a very special brother. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fold in some of the peppers and onions. This was requested specifically by Chuck, the cameraman, to put in there. Give some nice flavor there. Okay. Concentrating on one side because, of course, this side is going to flip over it. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to take, the hands are clean. We're going to fold in some of the steak here. We like our steak medium rare. Then, with that, we're going to take the A1. We're not going to go crazy with it. Just a few drops, just enough to add some nice flavor. Chuck, I didn't even ask you, are you interested in the McCormick's Montreal for a little kick this morning? I would like a little kick. Okay, we're going to do that. Looks like your toast is up. It's all kind of coming together at the right time. And we're going to, again, not go too crazy with it. We just want a little flavor. We don't want to dump a whole bunch of pepper in there. Okay, we're going to do it like this. Probably too much. All right, and lastly, what we're gonna do is fold in the cheese. Sorry, I'll do it this way. Make a nice, uh, nice cheesy omelet. All that good, fantastic innards. Now we're gonna flip this thing over like this. Ah, yes, yeah, very nice, very nice. Coming together very nicely. We're just gonna let that. You know, that that steak was not preheated. It wasn't uh, wasn't warmed up, so it needs to kind of cook in there a little bit. While we're doing that, we're going to get we're gonna get Chuck's toast over here. We're going to get that all buttered up.
right about now we can flip this thing over. I think it's kind of making a little noise. Ah, very yeah. nice, yeah. very nice. We're just going to hit, turn that burner off. And what setting did you have the burner on during this time? It's pretty high. We had it on about a nine. Nine, okay. Nine. Got a little scorched on that side, Chuck. Hope you don't mind. No. I kind of like it uh, a little crispy on the top. There you go. I think it's great when the, the cheese kind of peeks through and that kind of gets fried too. So uh, we, got, we, have a, we have a plate prepared for this. I think this thing's ready to get shoved on to your, uh, your breakfast plate, buddy. I'm going to do it like this. Oh, that looks good. And there it is. You can see the steak peeking through. We have, uh, we have that. Got to adorn it with the toast for my man. Ladies and gentlemen, here you have it. Again, it's a three egg omelet. I got it back. With some McCormick's Montreal steak seasoning, highly peppers. A1, a little mild cheddar, of course the, uh, the nice, nicely cooked, medium rare New York strip, and the sautéed onions and pepper. Take one good, uh, nice, long-lasting look at it because it will be gone in a matter of minutes. Thank you very much for tuning in. The next time, we promise we're going to either do the salamlet or the filet vignette.